Hey, my beautiful sisters, welcome back to the channel. I am super duper excited about this video. This is my very first hair care slash wash day video, and I'm excited about it. I think it's gonna be a good one, and I know that you guys are gonna enjoy it, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I partnered with Naturally Crowned by Yummy Candy Collection. Uh, this hair company is absolutely wonderful. Their wigs and extensions are great. They know what they're doing. But it became really clear to the owner, Yolanda, that people were not taking care of their natural hair under the wigs. So she really took her time and came up with these wonderful products. And that's what we're going to be trying today. So I wanted to show you guys the packaging and how it was sent to me. Very cute, very thoughtful. Um, I actually spoke with her prior and she just basically asked me what was my hair type. And so I explained to her that I did have dry hair. So she asked me, was it dry or was it oily? And because mine was dry, she opted to send me this formula for the hair soap. Uh, it is a bar, guys. I'm so excited about that. I've never experienced a shampoo bar. Um, I absolutely love it. I loved it when I opened the package, I loved it. So because I do have uh, dry hair, she sent me a moisturizing scalp massage shampoo bar. It is the moisturizing formula, but she has another formula for oily hair, which is a clarifier. I was also sent a deep conditioning moisturizing mask. Uh, this does come in two different sizes. I believe I have the eight, oun eight ounce, uh, but it does come in a 13 ounce as well. So the last product that I received was a hair growth scalp serum. I really enjoyed this product. Um, it smells good, it felt good on my scalp, it was wonderful. Um, the fact that it has a dropper, I absolutely value that. Um, I don't know about you guys, but it's just really super convenient for me. And yeah, the packaging was cute. I found little crowns in there. I thought that was so adorable, so thoughtful. And she just really took her time with these formulas and the packaging and it's just, it's clear. So guys, say hello to my Jojo. She is my oldest child and she's gonna be my model for today, okay? I'm gonna be real with you guys, okay? This has been wash day. It's been her wash day for the last week. She is two weeks behind, which means she's had her hair in those braids that I just took out yesterday for three weeks. And so it was time. It was time to get these braids out. It was time to wash her hair. And I figured I could do a twofer. I could do a video and I could do a wash day for her and get it done and we would be straight. And so that's what I did. Um, her hair is a, like, I guess it's a 4B. Um, very, very dense, very thick. Um, but it's actually really manageable. It does what you want it to do. As long as you have the right products and you get that moisture in it, um, it does what it wants to do. Um, or what you want it to do. Um, at this point, her hair is pretty detangled just because I detangle it really well before I braid it and I moisturize it and seal it really well. So her hair is not in bad shape. It's just dirty and needs to be washed. So I've been slowly but surely getting her to do her own hair, wash it. Um, like when she gets in the shower, I'll have her shampoo her hair and I'll go and make sure her scalp is clean and I'll help her as she goes. But I'm really just trying to get um, that duty off of me all the time. And so she enjoys it. And yeah, it just gives me that one less thing, one less head to do. Go ahead. I'm actually gonna leave. You're gonna start wetting your hair. I'm gonna go get the tools that we need, okay? Um, make sure the water is warm slash hot, not, of course, too hot. And go
So as you can see, I am in a hat, okay? I tried to block myself out as much as I could because I look a hot mess. My hair is suffering. But, you know, our kids come first, so that's what it is. So off camera, I'm pretty much instructing her um, as far as what I want her to do. Um, she knows how to wet her hair. She knows all of that. I've been washing her hair in the sink like this since she was three. So she understands how it works. Um, she's gotten so big now that I can't lay her on the counter. I used to lay her on the counter and just put her hair backwards into the sink. Um, but not only has she gotten so long, that's kind of hard to do, but her hair has gotten longer. And so it's just been really hard to get that done. So we do it this way. So another reason why I'm kind of getting her to start doing her own hair is because I want her to um, find a love for her hair. She loves her hair. She thinks it's great. But you know, in society, you know, even with her mom, myself wearing wigs and things like that, she's starting to want it to be straight and starting to want it to be colored and short. And she's you know, looking at the uh, mainstream media and they're showing her what beauty is. And sometimes that doesn't always look like her. And so I want her to start to um, just recognize the beauty in her own hair and how to manage it. And I think that would kind of help her recognize the beauty if she knows how to manage it. Um, yeah. So right here, she is experimenting with this uh, soap bar. I'm sorry I'm a little out of focus. Out of I was just trying to help her and do this at the same time. It was kind of difficult. But she is lathering with the soap bar. We love this thing because it is a massager. So she is scrubbing her scalp. Here, I'm just helping her because she kind of, it's her first time using it. And it was getting tangled and, not tangled, but like her hair was intertwined in it. And she was kind of needing some assistance um so here i've noticed that it's easier to brush your hair um if that makes any sense like brush your hair with the soap bar at first um especially when you have thick hair um and of course i am parting it to get into the in-betweens um there's been so many times i've i've just learned my lesson i've gone upstairs and after she's washed her hair she's had um dry spots in the middle of her hair so she's she's learning i'm learning and we're just kind of going along with it um at this point um you know the learning curve so we did wash twice i washed it here um and i helped her along with this one but then i let her wash for the second time by herself so if you guys are wondering why um, I'm not bringing the shampoo all the way down to the ends of her hair, um, I am teaching her and um, showing her the right way to do it. Not bringing the shampoo all the way down to the ends of your hair will help you retain moisture. Um, so shampoos, whether they're moisturizing or clarifying, they're cleaning, right? They're getting the oils and the dirt out of your hair. And so we don't want to bring it all the way down because we don't want to strip the ends of your hair, which are the driest part of your hair of the oil and the moisture that it does have and i just kind of let the shampoo do its job and when it pull, when it runs down to the ends then it will clean whatever is on there but at least it's not sitting there and um, you know sitting on the ends um, like it does the roots so something that I noticed about using this shampoo that was different from any other shampoo that I've bought from like mainstream products like from Target or whatever um, was that this shampoo was very uh, moisturizing. While I was doing her hair, it didn't feel like I was shampooing it. It felt very slippery. It felt like it was not stripping her hair at all. It was a wonderful experience because I don't know about you guys, but typically when I'm shampooing her hair or my own or even my little girls, um, the, my youngest daughter, is that it feels like, you know, I can't really detangle it while I'm doing it. And I feel like I'm creating more tangles that I just detangled out. And sometimes I don't like that feeling. Um, but this particular shampoo did not do that whatsoever. It felt like it was moisturizing her hair. Um, and that it was helping me detangle her hair as we went. If you can notice, um, I keep going through her hair with my fingers. I'm detangling her hair, making sure that she's not creating knots or I'm not creating knots. Um, and the shampoo really just helped me with that process. So we are rinsing. So in this particular situation, um, I did not rinse in two different sections. I would typically rinse in sections, uh, but the sections fell out. So there goes that. But it actually was fine because this shampoo rinsed out really easily.
I'm pretty much done and the water is running clear, like super clear. So I really think it's clean. Her scalp looks great. It feels, there's no type of residue at all. It just feels really clean. It doesn't feel stripped. It doesn't feel like residue. It just feels clean. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's pink! <laughs> you guys, look at this. When I tell you it smells... Smell it. It smells so good. It smells like, it smells, it smells like bubblegum? No, not bubblegum. No, not bubblegum. Strawberry shortcake. Icing, icing. It smells like strawberry icing, but not strawberry. Like it's, it smells sweet. It smells like cobbler's um, icing. I can literally just do this all day. Come on, let's go put it on my hair, come on. Please. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And it's not loud. That's why I'm all like, because it's faint. Once you um, rinse it out, it's gonna smell faint, but it's gonna smell like it smells right now. Oh my gosh. You got <laughs> So I've smelled like the most perfumey kinds of smells. I'm more of a floral scent kind of girl. I don't really like Mom. candy and sweet scents or like apple and you know, like air freshener and stuff like that. I like perfumey florals, but it smells sweet, florally, like a floral sweet smell. It smells like ice cream. Okay, so it's shea butter, hibiscus tea, and honey, right? So, hold on, let me see. I can so see why that smells like that. So needless to say, it smelled great. Jordan was fascinated with the feeling and the texture of it. Um, she's 12, so this age, they love texture and slime and all that stuff. So she was having way too much fun with that. Um, but I do love the texture. It was very custardy, um, very thick, um, like a pudding. It was great. I love it like that. I don't want my conditioner or at least my mask to be runny or to be watery, and that was not the case. It was a very opposite. This was thick enough. Um, it was perfect. The only thing I would say is that I felt like for Jordan's hair, her hair is dense and thick, like I said in the beginning, and it was soaking up product like crazy. I would put it on there, and it was just like, her hair was like, <laughs> like it was soaking it up. It loved it. Um, and I guess that's a good thing. I don't know if that says anything about her hair porosity, if that just means her hair takes in product really well or whatnot. I don't really know. And honestly, I don't think it matters at this point as long as it's getting in her hair strands and it was. Um, but with that being said, with it being three of us in the house, I would definitely go ahead and get the 13 ounce um, because this eight ounce, I pretty much went through a quarter of it with just this one time use. So definitely if you have thicker hair and you guys are buying this product, get the 13 ounce. Um, I think it just makes more sense. And yeah, because her hair was loving it. So after I use a wide tooth comb, I typically use our Demon brush and just to get all of the tinkles out, um, I cannot stand having to detangle after I wash hair. So I detangle in the shower or I detangle wherever I'm doing her hair, I will detangle it in the conditioning process. And actually the instructions on the back of the bottle actually tells you to detangle with the conditioner in it, um, which you know is awesome in itself. But that's just always how I've done my hair and my kid's hair. I just detangle while I'm doing conditioning because after I'm done, I don't wanna have to detangle and then style. I, I've had to do that a few times and I tell you I wanted to cry. So right here, you'll see me go ahead and um, twist it up, making sure, like I said, it's completely detangled, and I'll twist that section up. And I did the same for both sides. I had three sections on both sides with six sections in total, 
and with her density it just makes sense to do it that way She assumed it was a hair steamer, but it was an actual garment steamer. And it worked perfectly. And I knew it would when I saw it. I was like, oh, that's still gonna work fine. So I'm so happy I used this steamer. Like I said, it was a garment steamer, but I used it for her hair and it was fine. It worked great. Um, now, eventually I do wanna go ahead and get a hooded steamer just because when I go to the salon and get a steam treatment, I stay under the hooded steamer for about 30 minutes. In this case, I was only able to steam her hair for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, I did have to add water in between only once, um, but other than that, it worked fine. Um, I don't know if the steam in a hooded steamer is hotter. It seems as though it is. Um, for safety reasons, I put my hand in front of the steam to make sure that it wouldn't burn her. And it wasn't hot. Like I was able to hold my hand there for some time. And that kind of made me realize like maybe the steam isn't as hot as we think it is. Um, but I don't know if that changed anything. I it definitely still worked. Um, it did what it was supposed to do. It opened up the follicle and letting the uh, conditioner penetrate the strand. And I can tell by touching it, by feeling it, it was absolutely soft and just manageable. Um, it definitely allowed the conditioner to work at its best ability when I included the steam treatment. So I'm gonna be doing this every two weeks for sure. So as you can see, her hair is super moisturized. Her curls are defined. Um, I absolutely love the end result. Um, I'm going to be incorporating not only the Naturally Crowned um, collection into our every two-week routine, but we are going to be doing steaming. So this is absolutely wonderful. I think I'll see more definition once I'm more consistent. So the conditioning mask was very easy to rinse out. Off camera, I applied some leave-in conditioner, some curling cream, and I also applied the Naturally Crowned Hair Growth Scalp Serum. Um, I applied it to her entire scalp as well as the front where she had some breakage and to the ends of her hair. I braided her hair while it was wet and I did like a really good moisture and seal and it was bouncy and soft and her hair just absolutely loved the products. You guys, please give me a thumbs up on this video if you guys want more like it as well as subscribe if you have not already. Guys, I really hope you guys value my opinion on the products I use today. They are absolutely wonderful. I'll have all of the products in the description box for you guys to check out and check out the website and I'll see you guys in the next video.